senior u završnim godinama svoje akademske karijere i onda kad osvijeljuju i pomisli koliko divnih stvari u biblijskih, akademskih, kulturnih i istorijskih stvari zavidio na tome što sve možete da uredite i malo brinem da jednu propastu što se možete da uredite, moja generacija se nije proslašla. Tako da, kad se nešto ovako dobro dešava, kad postoje ta međunarodna sranja, i kad se u jednom trenutku nas pratio iznad nas, odigrava također jedna mala konferencija internacionalna o Novorečije, jedna organizacija na kojoj razviju jezika, kad smo zakazali novu radionicu građanske nauke, koju svi mi na neki način specifiramo kao saočestnici i kao izvori u oktobru mesecu, i kad imamo jedan ovako nov i veličanstveno zanišen projekat sa takvim partnerom koji nas daleko premašuje u istorijskim i geopolitičkim kapacitetima, to je onda jedan dobar trenutak da radi se na ovom univerzitetu. I onda se zapletemo na tome da nam nedostaje neki interfejs, od želim se da se izvinim u gospodinu Pijangu ovo posebno i obećujem vam da ću u prvi par, ako dobijemo od ministarstva i novog ministra, kupiti to što nam je danas nedostao, tako mi se ovo neće probavljati. I tako se mi krpimo, mi smo jedna fina otmena akademička silatinja, ali se borimo najbolje da se znamo i umimo da budemo makar zakrpljeni, ispeglani i čisti i onda mislimo ne može entuzijazam sve, ali ne može ništa da se znamo. Pa onda ako već imamo entuzijazam, hajde da zajedničkim snagama pokušamo da napravimo još nešto i da kažemo, evo ove godine je ovo početak, ko zna sa nekim drugim ljudima, jer su moje godine ipak najviše nabrojane, od deset godina, kad bude desetogodišnica, doći ćemo u gosti i da kažem, gledaj kako smo lepe stvari na tom ljudi ovaj zajedniš. I zato vam želim da je uspišan i dobar rad. I sad mi pusti, samo pokušam kažem još tri rečenice na engleskom, u ovom našem gregu gosti na Srijan. I'm open to sorry that I have addressed this public in Serbian. It's not that I would not handle in a rather broken English in a few words in English, but I just wanted to be more natural. Thank you very much for coming here. I have extended my greetings to all our distinguished colleagues and especially to students from the high, in the high, only in the highest esteem. This university place is devoted to that. Thank you very much for this cooperation, for your good will. And uh, I'm awfully sorry that you have experienced our shortcomings in technological world. Yeah. I do promise that the, the, for the very next uh, um, fund that we find, we will uh, deal with this problem and next time we'll just plug in and it works nicely. And I wish you a fruitful day and of course a good preparation in years to come and keep coming back and bring more people to, to the yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, I'm very thrilled to introduce you our two guests. Bo Yang, he is director of Kentan Academy of Design International Office, and Dr. Dina Najovic, associate professor at the University of Belgrade, faculty of forestry, and president of the Department of Council, Department of Landscape, Architecture, and Horticulture. Thank you. <laughs> Here to showcase the incredible results of the biogeometry and biographics uh, workshops that were held first in Beijing, then in Belgrade. Dr. Jovic and Xiao Li led the workshops in Beijing with the support of Bo Yang, uh, while the Professor Jovic organized the same workshop in Belgrade at the Faculty of Forestry and Light Landscape Ar Architecture uh, class subject. Uh, with uh, her creative team helped her, so those, those were uh, very talented master and doctorate students, Olga Gajic, Maja Radulovic, Leila Beganovic, Natalia Milivojevic, Jelis Jelena Živic. During a far real treat today, as you will get to see a beautiful and great works of students from both China and Serbia, they've done an outstanding job showcasing their takes on geometry, graphics, form, composition, visual communication, and sustainability when it comes to biographic concepts. So, great to have you here. Just let me to give my sincere thankfulness to the University of Library who really greatly hosted us here and uh, we continue the, uh, our cooperation in the future since we have great experience from the past. 
event that we organized here. I would like to thank my students, PhD students and master students, who are helping greatly. And I would like to th thank also very much my students on the first level of studies, on the first year of studies, who are present here in this lecture. Thank you so much. You've done amazing things. And I'm very happy with the results. Then I would like to thank my brother from China, Bo Yang, who hosted me greatly over there. And I'm happy that finally we realized what we planned here. And I'm really looking forward for your lecture. So uh, thanks, of course, to the University of Belgrade, to the Faculty of Forestry. I would like to thank my dear guests here, who are great collaborators, artists who are present, director from the Museum of Science and Technology, which my students already know, Ivan Stanich, friends who came here, family. So thank you so much. I'm super happy that we are here. So, Bo, well, please, floor is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Yeah, sorry. Hello. How to say it? Dobre dan? Dobre dan. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, actually, I was in Serbia, uh, back with eight years ago, and uh, my papa and the uh, state over there, you can send up. Uh, my. <laughs> Uh, I can start my uh, lecture. Just yeah, my limit. Uh, firstly, I pray for uh, thanks uh, all of uh, you come and uh, thanks for your time. At least my uh, my lecture. And uh, at the beginning, I briefly uh, show my uh, institution, uh, my institute, Kanda Institute of <coughs> University of Technology. Uh, is in Beijing, and where it is, there, there's, there's airport, and from the airport to my uh, institution is like a 13, 40 minutes by car. It's quite quite close uh, to the center, like one hour. Uh, uh, my institution is named after uh, a name, and uh, I mean the uh, the Gondan, so it's a personal uh, name, uh, and it's. Uh, History and uh, if you know more, I can uh, send this to be and I can know more about the background of my, my institution. And now we are a private university in China, and uh, we have around 5,000 students, and uh, with uh, uh, six schools. Uh, I'm from uh, one of uh, the Kandan Academy of Design. Uh, as you see, we have six uh, schools uh, in Kandan Institution. Uh, I would like to show more information about my own uh, my uh, academy. We have four uh, four programs. Uh, one is the web visual, com visual communication, product design, environmental design, and digital uh, media art. Um, actually, we have connection with Vietnam with the environment design. Uh, this is uh, what we have. Uh, the students we have over. 1,000 students and uh, 100 teachers. I mean, the teachers from uh, uh, full time and part time. Normally, we, we might uh, teacher from like Vienna, from abroad, also from industrial. <coughs> and uh, we have 45 uh, plus corporate universities. One like this uh, basic information. Uh, we are uh, the teaching model in my uh, faculty is. Uh, both of Chinese and English, so that's why we normally invite uh, teachers from abroad uh, to their workshop and uh, lessons in English. Because we want to try to create a platform for our students uh, to practice their English or open their mind with different uh, knowledge from different countries. Um, this is what we have because we, uh, since 2016, uh, we built two international classes. Uh, one is in visual communication and one is uh, environment design. And uh, most of their courses teaching in English. Uh, and most of them, uh, most of teacher, uh, most of students 
uh, will uh, apply for master degree when they finish bachelor because we don't have a master program in my faculty. So most of they are studied like UK, US, and different European countries. And uh, the workshop is our like kind of a tradition. Uh, normally, we uh, each year we organize uh, one uh, uh, workshop, um, international workshop. In my faculty, we invite uh, different professors and teachers, uh, designers from uh, different countries, also from China. And that's what we have done before the pandemic. Uh, this is like a huge group from Kafa, from uh, uh, my, the student from my faculty, and some professors. And uh, during the pandemic, we helped stop it. And uh, so we turned to uh, online and we, we do the online talks. Uh, this, uh, this is what we have done the, this year, April. We organized uh, the first uh, big uh, international workshop in, uh, in my campus. Uh, we organized 14, uh, 14 workshops, uh, seven uh, international workshops, and uh, seven workshops from uh, industry. Uh, this, uh, maybe you can find Juliana somewhere. Here, yes? Uh, yes, here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, some photos from the workshop, and this uh, way to the I found research in my because during the, in the April the cherry blossom in my campus and also we work with the, the top university uh, in China Kafa and uh, they have different tests from industry and uh, the top printing company in China as well. Uh, this is some photos of the like, summary. Uh, okay, spot uh, just uh, really basic information about my faculty. And uh, I do um, welcome all of you. I also send an invitation to be an, uh, to invite PhD student and master student uh, to have uh, exchange experience in my uh, in my in my campus. Okay. Uh, and after the my faculty, I'm gonna show my lecture. It's not uh, like, uh, because my background is graphic design. So I'm not studying uh, environment design. So uh, most of my lecture about the graphics. And um, graphics is really wide and it can be everything. And uh, my research more or less about uh, uh, typeface. Um, and I, I'm going to talk about Chinese characters, probably can inspire you or uh, like new um, a new inspiration for all of you. Uh, this is my main type of graphic in environment because we will we see it every day uh, in our city in uh, in, uh, in your even in your personal room. So the subtitle is the landscape or type of faces. Uh, this is my uh, research. I can show you more before. I talk about Chinese character. I would like to show some really uh, uh, story about Chinese characters. Um, Chinese characters is uh, this uh, the old from old uh, form. It's like picture. It's, we can say it's graphics. Uh, this is means sun. You see, it's at the beginning it's like sun, and then we uh, like do the evolution and one step by steps. Uh, this is what we are using right now. I'm not sure if there anybody know Chinese, but we're using right now. We still keep the, uh, the basic form from this, and you see it is like sun. And the moon is uh, uh, it's like this. It's like a moon, we saw every night. And then we change the step, 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 that what we are right, right, right now we're using. And this wood, the tree and the mountain, as you see, it's the, our character from the picture. Picture is like graphics. Yeah. So this is the door. Yeah. This is really basic. Uh, we have more uh, examples about Chinese characters. Um, this is what we have as, as well. Um, we do calligraphies. Like, uh, like in Latin, you also have calligraphies. And Chinese uh, calligraphy is, is different. We have different style. Uh, some 
like really abstract and really elegant. This is really elegant and a different style. But uh, I will give you like a test, let you know or feeling uh, the the feeling of the different Chinese characters. This uh, obviously you don't know what it means, but you can feel the form of this calligraphy. I found the, the, the really, uh, I mean, the, the character from the movie, maybe everybody watch this, uh, this movie. Try to, we can find some connection with it. Yeah, this, because this character is ugly, ugly, elegant, yeah. Also, if you connect with both of them, it's also ugly, ugly, And um, Let's move to the next one. <laughs> is it? Can you get it? We, we don't know what it means. What's the form of the, this character you can feel? It's like a more strong, like a, not really height, you know, not tall, like this character. So, this, uh, this is the feeling of the Chinese characters. And uh, next one. This is fashion model. We saw on the TV and the, the, uh, the fashion show. And uh, try to fill in this uh, calligraphy. It's the same. It's free and uh, flying and uh, abstract. They have some connection. So, this is our what's interesting, you know, between the Chinese character and with uh, some uh, abstract thing. So probably you got some like feeling about Chinese character. This Chinese, this is uh, uh, Latin. Um, uh, this uh, this what we are doing right now is uh, how to could we have a, a problem with Latin. And the Chinese, as you see, the Chinese is totally different from Latins. They have a different form. But we try to find a, a similarity to pair with them. When we, this is what we are using right now, we are writing. And obviously, it is from a Western country. Yeah, it's Gothic. Yeah. And we put the, the details in Chinese. So you see, as you see, they are. Same, have same taste. This word uh, uh, right now we are doing how to pair Chinese with Latin. How do we get inspiration for the for the Latin uh, uh, typeface? Uh, this some um, few sketches we uh, we uh, the the experiment. I use this part probably. Uh, this uh, from uh, the, uh, the, the Western designer, and then we copy the style to Chinese. So it's quite flexible. We have tradition, and we also make it uh, much more uh, modern. Uh, so uh, the, this uh, the next question: How do we get inspiration for our Chinese traditional calligraphy? This is what we uh, have done, and we saw this. Character, and we like turn try to transfer the traditional style to modern style. It's like uh, what you, s you saw the left side. Uh, probably it's difficult for you to understand the meaning, but uh, if you can see some details, we can f uh, have find some connection between them. Uh, what I want to why I want to show this. Um, uh, uh, this picture, because both of students probably you are working on the uh, environment design, but in the environment you also need to design the type of face. You need to put letters on your environmental space. Uh, try to find something new. I mean, you can try to find some inspiration from my culture, from China. Get this new new thing for you. Yeah, I saw. Uh, on the street, uh, Chinese flag and the Serbian flag, this collection. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it's easy, now it's really easy to find the uh, uh, reference in the, on the internet. It's uh, super easy. So, we can. Uh, okay,
Uh, this is what uh, at the beginning I talk about Chinese character. So at the beginning is graphics from the picture, and we still keep this uh, idea to design uh, our branding or logos. And this is Noodle. Yeah, if I actually if I hide this English subtitle, uh, you also can get this Noodle. Yeah, like spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, this rice. Yeah, uh, this rice. Uh, it's actually this uh, form is uh, how we write rice in Chinese. So it's no uh, you uh, uh, you don't know Chinese, but you can understand it. Rice and this noodle. So this uh, we got, got benefit from our tradition from uh, uh, it's because it's uh, the uh, understand yeah. And this uh, this is how we combine and not only now in China we. Um, talk about how to get expression from our tradition. It's our, our identity because uh, at the beginning we lost our blood. I mean, we get a lot of inspiration from Western country about design, about art. So now we're back to our, our own tradition. So then you see noodle, calligraphy, and the logo. And uh, the rice and calligraphy and the logo. So this is what we we did. Okay. Yeah, this is the actually the uh, the original lighter. Uh, another thing is about emotion. Uh, I'm not sure how you heard any. If you put an emotion inside of uh, Latin, yeah, uh, we. Uh, the Vietnams uh, have visited the Forbidden City, and in each door, in the front of the door, we put Chinese letters. Not uh, the Chinese letter, not the name of the building. Is our put our emotion or our wishes on our door? <coughs> not in Western country, we put the name of this house or apartment, but we are different. <coughs> this uh, he is really a famous calligraphy artist in China, also um, an officer in the government. And this was his style, not only he, uh, right? But he also have this, as you see, two definitely different style. Uh, this really like formal, official, kind of. And this is much uh, free. Free, because I, I would like to tell the background of this. Uh, his nephew uh, go to have a war. And like war fighting, blah, 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 and uh, died during the war. So he was so sad and upset. And after he heard uh, he heard this news, and he read this. As you I see on this uh, calligraphy, a lot of changes. You see, they came uh, the the keeps uh, the the changing and the sketches. It means he was. Uh, Sad, he don't know what he want to express, and blah blah. It's no, so this is what we put in our uh, uh, personal emotion in the, in their art pieces. And uh, I did some uh, uh, some <coughs> details about this calligraphy. You see, I'm not sure if it happened in your culture, but it happens uh, in my culture. And there's another um, Japanese artist. He, he was really poor, really, really poor. He only had money for alcohol and ink and paper. That's it. So um, as you see, he put this uh, calligraphy. Um, uh, as a, so this this letter means poor, and this letter means dream. I'm not sure you can pick something from it. Yeah. It's really abstract. It's, I know it's uh, quite difficult at the beginning, at the first time, you know, such a... But uh, I hope, I do wish you keep this in your mind. Uh, in the future, we will do some design project. Okay, there are some Chinese designer told, told me that there are blah, blah, blah in the, in the Chinese characters. You can get something, yeah? And uh, this also, uh, we did. Uh, we use the same methodology to do the Latins. 
this uh, O O N A. Yeah, yes, uh, it's like a, I think it's the same. Yeah. Uh, this is what uh, because as I mentioned before, I'm a graphic designer, and uh, we do a lot of posters. Uh, because poster is a really good way to show your uh, your scale. I mean, with a simple poster, and this is what we use Chinese uh, calligraphy as well. And the moon, wind, flower. But you see this wind. Can you feel the the wind? <laughs> and this flower is like a blossom flower. Yeah. Uh, the last one. Um, uh, he's not an uh, artist. Uh, we call it like street artist. Um, because in European, um, I visited uh, different European countries many times. I saw a lot of street art. Um, calligraphies, uh, typefaces, pictures on the on the wall. We have similar, but we don't uh, paint out. We put our letters. Um, the, uh, he's a beggar in the in the Hong Kong. He also really poor um, man, and uh, he drawing everywhere. He paints the letters everywhere uh, in the on the street. So. After he died, and people start to uh, find uh, find his uh, work on the street, it's really super powerful. Yeah, that's what he um, he draw on the on the street. It is um, uh, you can try to find uh, a lot of information uh, in the YouTube uh, about Google. I have a lot of like uh, some information, it's like uh, he sold his uh, the emperor. He got some like like uh, this um, space. If you can, if you are interested in his uh, art, you can uh, try to search his name on the Google. Yeah, this is another project uh, in Hong Kong as well because uh, in Hong Kong the space is really small small spaces, so people need to uh, hang out their dress or clothes outside with this, uh, with this lens. So they did this project with, uh, use this concept with uh, uh, the, the, the fabric. This means it's uh, the song, music, yeah, it's two, two letters, it's a deep answer. This is what uh, I want to say. It, uh, and before that, I blah 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 everything, the, the history about Chinese characters. And this now I want to say how graphics work with environment. This is how it works. And we live in the city, and uh, now the city starts fancy and fancy. We have a lot of new buildings. We pass by the new background. Oh my God, it's, uh, like I was in background eight years before, it's not like that. It's like boom. Yeah, but we still have some old town, like like right now. Uh, we cannot change the, the architecture immediately, but we can use the graphics. It's a much easier way to connect with people. Like this one. Uh, if they create these uh, two uh, letters between the two buildings, and they do this event under this. So it's the, the graphics or the typeface is uh, it's cheap flexible and fast to connect with people. So not like an uh, architect build, uh, architecture is super expensive, super expensive, we will need more time to design and manage everything, but the graphic is easy thing. And this is what we have in Hong Kong right now. I would like to show the, how the graphics, how the typeface uh, like form the city. When you visit Milano, Belgrade, Berlin, and it's different. But in, also in China, we have we use the uh, same characters, but different city have a different feel. And this one is Hong Kong, and this one is Beijing. 
So we see how the typeface, how the graphics form the city. So this is the different. I mean, uh, during your future design, maybe you can uh, cooperate with uh, some graphic designer to like do the compact design, or after you know, even you do some uh, project uh, in the uh, in the public space. Uh, the last I would like to show uh, a project um, about the uh, we call it Changdongchun uh, because in Beijing uh, it's quite a big city and it's still developing. Uh, we have city, I mean the urban the city, and then we also have village. What call is village? It's a village inside of city. Normally it's like a uh, in Brazil, they also have the part of its really luxury uh, buildings, and inside the luxury building or next luxury building have really poor area. It's also happening in Beijing, and also it happening in some city like Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a luxury city, young city, but it also have like a uh, like poor area uh, for you know there are some people working on the cleaning or some works. Uh, they, 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 they they need to like uh, uh, find like cheaper apartment or cheaper place for living. So we have such place, and then now Chinese government start to remove the remove this place from the city because it's poor, it's dirty, it's ugly, and but uh, uh, they did, uh, did some project. Um, you can also find it online. And it's uh, it's not a new project. It's a bid in two thousand seventeen. Um, now it's like seven years. Yeah. Uh, there's there's the process of uh, um, of uh, of this project, and uh, I I mentioned in the, my presentation we want to use um, graphics to connect with people, or. Uh, Connect is more important for now, especially after the pandemic. Uh, during the pandemic, everybody closing their uh, room; they cannot go outside. But uh, this project is uh, I make a, I can show the video. Uh, I, I have to say all the material because it's not like fast design. We didn't uh, bring like new uh, material bought from really fancy uh, wooden or uh, plastic. It's from uh, uh, from the garbage, you see, from here, where we put the garbage. All the material from this is uh, kind of uh, sustainable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can show the video. Much easier. Yeah, as you see, it's the how you paint on the wall in the country. The way you this way to uh, paint letters. This is a process. And uh, um, all the, the the people who drawing these uh, letters is not a designer. It's the local person. Yeah. So the. Probably they are cleaner or um, cook or everybody. And some of from really professional designer, everybody joined this. Uh, uh, as you see, uh, he's uh, uh, someone like artist, uh, you know, he's really professional and scale for the letters. You just uh, we just show the uh, the letter and then they they copy their own way. Uh, what we why we ask different people to do this uh, because during the city everyone has their own idea. Yeah, like uh, right now, Spagrid they also have different design uh, uh, the shop. Um, 
Yeah, this um, the few uh, images uh, uh, for uh, how they working. As you see, they also have this uh, also this different this, like so. This young people, uh, they how they do the uh, do the typeface. Uh, this uh, the works. It's from from the locals. Yeah, and. Uh, And uh, just uh, the the the, prep, uh, the basic idea is about everybody drawing this project creates their own space. And because if you ask them to draw in a nice picture, it's not easy. But the letters and the typeface we use every day, everybody familiar with it, everybody know how to write it. So it's, it's uh, we uh, it's the result. As you see, everybody write uh, the same content, same, but uh, obviously it's different style. Yeah, it is from like young generation. It's from uh, I mean maybe old old people, it's older, and um, yeah. Uh, especially when we found some interesting point, uh, especially we ask some. Uh, the old uh, people are some not really well education educated. When they write uh, English, they don't know the meaning of the English. But you see, it is really interesting. Yeah, it's not a, a fancy, but it looks uh, interesting. Yeah. And all the elements for the exhibition, and uh, they write it. Not like a design with a, a computer. And I show the the final. And uh, later we changed uh, a little bit uh, with uh, um, After Effects. And uh, this, uh, I think this is the form. Yeah, this is two minutes. And this is the last video. And um, you, if you can see that the, the far away is like a really fancy building, the new architecture. Here is the, uh, where the people live. You can see the contrast. Yeah, okay. Okay. And the build is uh, start to daylight, still night. And the, at the beginning, I showed the, um, the board they install with the installation for this. The poster for the exhibition. Uh, this uh, de uh, this design for the exhibition is not like a, uh, actually this is the, the, the identity design for the exhibition. It's not like a fancy one, but we uh, use uh, really uh, how to connect the people, uh, ask people for doing this um, for doing this uh, activity event, and uh, it also puts the this installation inside of um, this part, this is space uh, where the people have fun together and the public speaks uh, in the different uh, 
and also the entrance of the small market. You see, um, you cannot see uh, any, I mean, contrast or it's, it's, it's in this environment, it's in this space, it works very really well. Yeah. And some, like, uh, yeah, the pokes. Um, this is what I want, all of what I want to show. Um, but the main topics, um, I see this all the graphics letter, but they don't have, uh, I mean, picture, all the Chinese letters, Latin letters. Um, I, I would want to say it's like, uh, try to think how to graphics works with your space and uh, think the space what it is and uh, how to find uh, the way to connect space with people. That's what I want to express because the time is short. That's what I want to point. Um, because during, especially after the pandemic, we more and more care, um, care about the connection or relation with people and people. And uh, we are designer, but we are also the people who live in this city. You have responsibility. Also, you have your talent to, to work with your your city. Yeah, I uh, hope uh, you get something from my lecture. It's short, but uh, I hope you get something because the time is uh, really precious. You know? yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
much finesse. Yeah, and it's only not over, isn't it? Like, like, <laughs> must be. Yeah. <laughs>